and uh, iron golems, iron golems from Warcry's uh, starting set. So as the first stage, I want to paint uh, skin, and I will use SK75 Landanis gray. It's already in my airbrush, so let's start painting. And I'm painting from above, leaving some dark uh, black uh, uh, as a shadow. And now let's paint um, a highlight with white sands from SK75. It's already in my airbrush. Now I want to uh, Add some colors to the skin. Uh, I want to use uh, red leather from SK75. And I spray that from the bottom. And time for a shadow with a black from black model color. Now final details with a, a P3 Moral White. It's already on in the airbrush. It's not diluted so much. And I want to focus on very, very um, detailed uh, airbrush work to create final contrast on the muscle. For an armor, I will use old copper from SK75. It's uh, this one paint. And for steel and chainmail, I will use cobalt alchemy, which is uh, you can see this paint. For golden trims, I will use dwarven gold from SK75 as well. As you can see, I'm testing. It's called SK75 Pine Paint and for uh, those uh, are know what is it this but well let's say it's scales I will use Negro Gold also from SK75 which is uh, this paint I don't know if you can see okay this paint all right so let's start painting. I already black lined uh, all the uh, parts which are nearby to uh, nearby flesh and skin. 
So, we don't need to paint uh, all the uh, parts with black because old copper is very very uh, solid color and it needs just one coat. So I will paint just one layer, uh, one part for every uh, column and we will proceed to paint uh, model in next stages. So I will just show you. I will almost use uh, I use almost uh, paint from almost uh, from the pot, just a little bit of water. So nothing special about this stage. And you, as you can see, I will paint trims with dwarven dwar dwar gold right here and scales. Right here. So let me do this off cam because there is nothing, anything, anything special. As you can see, I already painted full uh, surfaces. Uh, I mean base colors. So now I want to use uh, Noon Oil, which is this one, uh, and Agrox Airshoe, which is this one. And I want to firstly uh, wash steel with known oil. So it's now time for Aglax Earth Shade. And I'm going to paint with the rest of the armor. As you can see, I'm painting a pretty strong coat. Because I want to achieve some black lining effect without using black color from Vallejo model. So, let it dry and then we will be able to paint highlights As you can see, uh, wash is uh, dry, so let's paint on uh, highlights. So for that, firstly I will highlight this part and I will show you how to paint the uh, rest of the parts of the armor. So as a first, uh, I want to uh, highlight those scales uh, with negro gold, necro, negro, I thought it's a ne necro and uh, Alban Gold from SK75 as you can see so it's Alban Gold, it's Necro and this is one, this one is uh, Vallejo Model Air uh, Chrome mm. so let's start painting firstly I want to uh, mix uh, Necro Gold with Open gold and just uh, retouch highlights after wash with butter black uh, with noon oil. Sorry, but the black is not produced anymore. As you can see, I'm 
painting that highlight with side of the brush. Okay, and now I want to use a mix of elven gold and chrome. Use pure chrome to highlight those um, those chains. Now let's paint uh, our copper mail. For that I want to use pure copper and old copper and uh, also speed metal. Speed metal is this one, uh, this one is pure copper and this one is old copper. So let's mix uh, old copper with pure copper. Sorry that my mobile phone Okay. And I'm leaving some shadows made by uh, Agrax Earthshade. Now I want to use uh, pure copper, uh, pure pure copper, <laughs> that's fun, funny, okay. And, and as last stage I want to mix speed metal with uh, pure copper. Speed metal. Okay, so I will paint the rest of the armor of Ken. Mm, but for now, let's paint uh, check mail and uh, steel with cobalt alchemy and speed metal uh, mix. So here's cobalt alchemy, and I'm mixing cobalt alchemy with speed metal. And I'm uh, highlighting a chain mail with side of the brush. Remember to uh, leave shadows uh, in the holes of the chain mail. Okay, and now I want to use pure uh, speed metal for final highlights of the steel. And I'm highlighting the uh, chain mail on exposed uh, areas. So uh, steel is uh, finished and just last one I want to highlight uh, trims with dwarven gold 
and of course bit metal mix so I'm mixing those two colors and just highlight so as you can see it's not very uh, complex painting difficult one but final result should be good I think so I will finish rest of the armor and we will paint uh, this part and skin and maybe some uh, details if there's there are any and uh, our miniature should be finished uh, and just base left okay all right uh, it's time for last details so I want to steal gray from Vallejo game color and Vallejo model color black so we will paint this part um, let me just uh, paint that in black and I want to use uh, Moro White from P3 it will be also useful for a skin so um, let's start from this part from this uh, part the uh, side so I took a steel gray from Palaho Game Color Right, and let's mix steel gray with white and let's paint um, edges of that wait a second okay and I just want to paint uh, edge highlighting parts with a black color so it looks like this and I think we're done with this part and let's uh, paint uh, this part I want to use a red leather from uh, scale 75 as you can see I use a lot of scale 75 paints because I want to test uh, those mm, paints I mean some new paints for me uh, such such as metallics and this red leather so I want to paint uh, this part uh, with red leather and black color mix and uh, this part uh, which I was painting before uh, I will paint off cam second side it's same same uh, as the rest of the model uh, same as front side sorry sorry 
and now I mix a red leather with white color. And I just paint highlight like this and we are almost ready. It will be awesome paint for painting faces because it has nice reddish color. It is reddish color. Okay. So um, I just need to paint those nails with uh, steel color. As you can see, it's uh, it's finished. This painting, this part. And now let's proceed to um, highlight the uh, skin. So I use uh, pure Moro white, and I'm gonna highlight that with uh, with that uh, or muscles. and I will paint the rest of cam and just it's like it will look like this and as I for, almost forgot I want to add some red uh, tone to armor with ink tense red from SK75 let's dilute it and Let's add some places with red color. will give more definition to the armor and it will be more saturated with that and also it's it's gonna it will give uh, interest to our color of the armor so I'm painting that uh, glaze nearby highlights but not on the highlights just on the base color I mean Okay. okay, and I think we are finished. So, uh, what is left? Uh, left is uh, base and rest of the models. So I will show you the rest of the models and uh, maybe I will show you how to paint the base because it will be very simple. Okay, sorry. <laughs> 